Hey guys, it's Nerf Boy Productions here. Today I'm here with an unboxing and review of the Nerf and Strike Elite Pinpoint Sight. So, getting started with the unboxing and review. It's really, really awesome. Uh, basically, I'm using a new camera here. This is the Canon PowerShot SX270HS. Uh, really awesome camera. Um, I'm putting up an unboxing and review of this camera on Nerf Boy Productions too, but here is the unboxing and review of this bad boy, which is the Nerf and Strike Elite Pinpoint Sight. Really great. I love this uh, sight. It's so awesome. Um, the scope, actually, I guess is what it's called. Now, hold on here, because I need to grab something. Oh, sorry about that. Um, I need to grab something uh, right here. Okay, so this is the and Strike Elite um, old red dot scope that used to be available and this is the new one which is really awesome so take a look at the box here it says nerf in the corner you have pinpoint sight little picture of it up here it says ages eight and up and then it says not for sale which i found to be really weird but uh... it says that so then at the back of the box you have a picture of the hailfire rampage retaliator and the scope All right so that's that a little picture of the scope, Rampage, uh, Hellfire, and Retaliator. Uh, says attaches to um, all elite blasters featuring the tactical rail, which says right there. All right, so uh, and then on the side it says the same thing. Okay, picture of the thing again. All pretty basic stuff. So that is that, um, and in the front of the box. I already showed you. Top, bottom's nothing. Now, when you take it out, basically, you just have the scope sitting in a plastic. There's like a plastic case that you just pull the scope out, or like a plastic, just a plastic shell that you pull the uh, scope out of. But since I uh, I accidentally filmed this a while ago and lost the footage, I'm redoing this video. But uh, basically, when you get it, it's uh, like this. And so here's a side by side comparison of the two. So yes, they look, they are the exact same. They even have all the same little uh, bits and bobs, you know. Um, but uh, they're actually different because this is yellow and gray and this one's white and uh, blue and orange. So I picked this up from Amazon, uh, .ca, or .com actually. Shipped from Singapore, I believe. And I believe this is the only place you can actually buy them. So that's kind of annoying, but uh, that is that. Now, uh, Yes, I believe that's the only place you can buy them. Uh, really cool though, this compartment in the front is where you actually put two, uh, is it AAA or AA? AAA batteries, and those just fit in the front like that. Um, but overall, really, really uh, cool stuff here. So, hold on. Sorry about this. Just doing something quickly. Alright. Um, anyway. Uh, so yeah. But basically, it's all the same um, colors and or all the same functioning stuff. Sorry about that. It's all the same functioning stuff. It's just got uh, the different different uh, stuff. Okay, so sorry about that. All right, now, um, all right. I'm so sorry. Uh, okay, so I'm just trying to do some here. New camera, trying to still work it out. So here is the power on and off button um, really simple clips on the bottom just like any tactical rail uh, again AAA batteries go in the front two of them uh, and then you can screw it on but I don't have a screwdriver with me but basically you flip this forwards to turn it on there's a little thing right here that shines a laser into the to a little plastic panel and um, if I show you this the plastic panel you can see right there so very very nice and um, yeah now the re uh, the reason I love this is it's very small okay look at my hand it's, it's very small and uh, basically unlike a re uh, recon laser or something that actually shines a laser on the target this just shines it onto the the plastic um, so it's basically it's hidden you know the, your enemy can't see it but it's very accurate as far as nerf goes and uh, it's really great now I picked this up for around thirty dollars with shipping from Singapore to Canada but. Uh, uh, it's really weird because on the box, 
It says not for sale, which I showed earlier, not for sale, and that's really weird because, um, and I don't know if you can, o it's like an only available in Singapore deal or something because I haven't seen it anywhere in Canada or America, uh, like United States, um, nor any normal places at least, uh, or anything like that. So I don't know if it's like it was only available for a limited time, and I did a rumors video on this, and uh, it actually never released, so I was like, what's up? But I see pictures of it, and I see it on Amazon, so I just bought one, and uh, so I think you're going to have to buy one off eBay or Amazon or something like that if you do want to get your hands on one, but they're really sweet. 30 bucks. I don't know if I'd recommend it. Um, I know the old and strike Red Dot sites like this. This one here, uh, those sold everywhere, so if you have one of those, just keep it. Really, it's not worth the paint job. Just, just paint it if you want it to be the same colors, you know. But uh, if you don't have one, go ahead and pick one up if you do want it. It's kind of an, an accessory, but you don't. it's not like a necessity. It's an accessory. So um, once you feel like you really want one and this is like will be your main site, then maybe you should buy one for 30 bucks. That's really expensive, though. Like a, You can get a Strife or a Stockade or something for the same price, if not less. But uh, that's my, my share on this. Uh, not too much to talk about since it is just a scope, but... Uh, Really, really awesome overall uh, for the price. I don't know about. I wouldn't recommend it, but if you do have the money and uh, you're like a hardcore fan, it's definitely something to look into because it's very cool and will give you an edge up on the game. Uh, but pretty cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and review of the Nerf and Strike Elite Pinpoint site. As always, this was Nerf Boy Productions signing off. If I can figure out how to turn off the camera.